Hi, how are you? Today I am going to draw a very beautiful painting. First, I am going to draw the leaves using the sign pen and I am going to draw the leaves first. Then the scenery is going to be inside of this leaf. Okay, so leaf is going to be the border or acting as a border. For the scenery and the painting or drawing anything is possible but in this sketchbook I am going to draw the scenery within these leaves it defines the boundary of the drawing area awesome now for this bottom part I am putting the green color and filling it up okay all right this area is going to be the green field okay so let's draw the green field here this is the actual border lines which is different lines for the scenery here and separate from the water level okay So it's a little bit hilly area that's why the contour and the ups and downs of the land area you can see here mm -hmm. that makes a little variations in the shades okay so the green shades is getting darker here mm -hmm. All right. And the light green color we are going to put in the middle to define the whole landscape in a new segment. All right. Now it's going to look better. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the overlapping of the uh, sketch. So first we did the pencil work, then we are using the something like crayons. All right. For the tree lines, these are the mountain trees which are very taller. Okay. And other trees you can see on the other side. Okay. this is the segment where the things are differentiated okay so for the background we are going to use the blue lines so blue color for the sky that's why we are just adding a blue color as a background and now we are drawing it blue because after the detailing the blue cannot be uniformly distributed for the whole background scenery so if we put the color before we draw anything then the color is looking good at the background as it looks uniform for most of the spaces mm -hmm. so some parts may be darker and some parts may be lighter in blue mm -hmm. okay all right For the mountain lines in a far distance we are just putting few lines like this mm -hmm. and the shapes is just going on on the one side as you have seen my in my other drawings so the greeneries you can see it has a little variations mm -hmm. awesome here you can see the trees so usually these are called the pine trees so I'm putting the trees here awesome just 
putting the you know the hatches you can see so after uh, completions of the drawings it's going to look good all right and a few trees here on this side awesome as you know the sun is rising in the horizon so we're going to draw a bigger sun here all right and putting the little bit yellow shades not that much uh, light yellow it's little bit dark yellow and the sun you can see the radiating the sunlights all over mm -hmm. and for the water level we're just putting some blues here okay maybe later we're going to put a um, you know the boat the usual element to show more realistic effects so yeah the boat is maybe here all right and uh, you know the pose and few shades of the boats on the water all right and because the sun also its reflections you can see on the water so a little bit uh, it has a, a reflective the color pigments over the water little bit orange shapes and also we are going to put the you know little bit green here to show the reflections of the trees over the water too there's the beauty of the paintings trying to make things more realistic possible uh -huh. awesome so this is the basic drawing i hope you like it and uh, you can do practice it's not that much tough and complicated it's very easy drawing and as you know the more you practice the better your drawings is going to be if i uh, make it a little bit closer to you you can see it's very nice scenery thanks for watching thank you so much please stay tuned with blue hand drawing channel in later videos we are going to bring more interesting stops thanks for watching have a good day